Hey, y'all, my name is Sarah, and for our group, we chose the flu vaccine policy for North Carolina. Hi, my name is Shanthina. What is the purpose of this policy? It is to increase the perceived accessibility of warning shots. It must take place so individuals can grasp and understand what they are desirable. Build capacity and support behavior change in colleagues so they can better serve the target population. Expanding vaccination rates amongst healthcare workers because their patient's immune system is more vulnerable to disease. Background. During the summer of 2009, there was a flu outbreak and the New York State Health Department passed a law enforcing workers who job had one-on-one -on -one contact with patients in healthcare setting to get the flu vaccine. They made it a requirement for employers to supply the vaccine at no cost. Exemptions were offered to employees who saw the vaccine as a medical contradiction. In 2009, in October, a state court issued a short-lived restraining order to prevent the regulation from taking effect. It was withdrawn a few days after because it was proven that the mandating the flu vaccine was constitutional due to the safety of the citizens. North Carolina began their flu vaccines law in 2000 for healthcare workers in nursing homes. They allowed exemptions for medical contradiction and religious beliefs. Hi guys, my name is Hannah and I'll be covering positives and negatives. So for the positives, people are building a barrier by taking the vaccine to protect themselves and others around them. Voluntary action, so it's not forced for people to accept it. Um, it um, protects employees and patients. There's a decrease of severity of the flu symptoms and there's a decreased number of cases each year with the flu vaccine. So for negatives, the it's a voluntary action, which means that not everybody will be vaccinated against the flu. Um, employees and patients could be exposed to the flu virus and contract it. Um, it's not helping create the barrier to protect those who have autoimmune diseases and are more susceptible to contracting viruses and other diseases. Um, efficiency varies from year to year, so it's not always reliable. So for controversies, people who are pro-flu vaccine, people that believe Getting the vaccine is the only way to avoid contracting the flu. Uh, these people also believe that the vaccine will keep them out of the hospital and it's cheaper overall because a lot of times you can get the flu vaccine for free. Uh, people get the flu shot because they feel as though it helps to protect the public from spreading it. People who are against the flu vaccine believe that it changes every year and people do not want something new in their bodies that they are unfamiliar with. Uh, the varying efficiency makes people feel as though it's not worth it because they don't know if it will actually work for them or not. Uh, being forced in healthcare jobs causes people to feel like they're being controlled and the sickly side effects from the vaccine turn people away. Impacts on Pacific populations. It increases the overall immune system of those who take the vaccine lowering the severity of contracting the flu, reduces the spread of the flu within the workplace. The World Health Organization commends countries to persuade their citizens to use flu vaccines, especially those who have high-risk medical conditions, including pregnant women, young children, elderly adults, and healthcare employees. Some ways that they're able to make this feasible is um, by offering the vaccines in different in different forms. So you can either get it through injection or inhalation. Um, vaccines can be offered in different areas that, such as doctor's offices, schools, free clinics, and then it helps increase and potentially boost people to get the vaccine um, by offering these different methods and making it as a voluntary action then and provide more education than people are most likely to agree to take the vaccine. And then the impacts that it has on public health, um, 
it's what else can be done to increase the number of people who take the vaccine? Um, what, pol what changes would you make to the policy? Um, and then do you think that the vaccine should be mandated for everyone to take? Um, if so, what are potential issues that you can see arising from this mandate? And these are our references. Thank you guys for watching.